Fujifilm WCL X100 II. Now this is the wide conversion lens for the Fujifilm X100 series camera, and this is gonna be its newest model, the second one. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today we're gonna to be going over this conversion lens that I recently picked up. Now this is the latest model because they have two models, uh, older one and the second one. When I went ahead and got this, I did get it through eBay and let me just insert a unboxing as I go through it. So the whole story behind this is I've been wanting to pick this up for a little bit and I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Now I actually found a silver one at one point that was only a hundred bucks, but I didn't jump on it fast enough. So I ended up going to eBay and picking this up there. Now with eBay, you can get some really great finds. You just have to to make sure you kind of vet the person selling it. No reviews definitely float on right by. If they have a lot of reviews, make sure they're for a seller and not as a buyer. If you have any questions, reach out to them. Ask for more photos, ask for more details. A lot of times they'll be willing to do that for you. And for me, that shows you that they're probably a good seller. And I bought a lot of my cameras on eBay, so you can definitely find some gems out there. Now, as we go through, I did have a little issue with that. The seller did ship this out. No issue with that. It was with the US Postal Service. I did need a signature for this and I digitally signed it so that it could be left at my parcel center. I had to wait like almost a week for this to finally show up my door after a few phone calls, had several cases set up, but it finally got here. So for the unboxing, this was hypothetically an open box, but new and everything, as you can see, it was in here, worked out perfectly and I have no complaints. So why did I pick this up? And I have three reasons of why I picked this up. The first one obviously is gonna have to do with the camera. So let me go ahead and open this up. This right here is my Fujifilm X106 in black, obviously. And I've been using this camera basically since it came out. I did pre-order it. I got it about a month or two after they started shipping the original pre-orders out. So I didn't have to wait too long. This has been my everyday carry camera and the camera I've been using the most as of lately. I was using the Fujifilm X100 5 before that, but I did sell that because I've been using this one so much. Now going back to my first reason. This is a fixed lens camera, meaning you can't swap the lens out. It's not interchangeable. And that means you're gonna be stuck at that 35 millimeter focal length, or are you? That's where these conversion lens come into play. They offer two different ones, a telephoto and then this one, which is their wide. I went ahead and went with their wide. For their telephoto, I don't think that's something that I would really be using my Fujifilm for. If I really need to start punching in that much, I'm probably gonna go to my Canon R6 and jump in with those L glass, the uh, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, or anything above that to get what I really need to. As I said, my first reason, 35, this will convert it to about a 28. So it gives you a little bit of difference and something to change it up. For my second reason here is gonna be, I used to do a lot of landscapes. When I lived up in Massachusetts, we would take trips basically like every weekend. We go to Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, went to Western Mass and out to uh, New York. And I really enjoy doing landscapes. And while 35 millimeter is great, the 28 is just a little bit wider, allowing me to capture what I really want to. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. Now, the third reason for this is, might be a little controversial, but I do a lot of car events. If you've been following me on this channel, you see that I go out to a lot of local car events. If you're out here in Georgia, Caffeine Octane, the first Sunday of every month, I go to that almost religiously now. So maybe I'll see you there. And this is where it comes in. It's a 28 for events like that. For me, when I do car photography, doing that like professionally, I kind of like using something a little bit closer. 70 to 200 or my 24 to 70, 85 mil, those just hit the right spot, right? At these car events, it's not just you and the car or you and your team. It's you and everyone else that's there. And a lot of time when you go ahead and step further back, you just get a lot of traffic going across, which is expected. I mean, it's a car event, everyone's there to enjoy it. That's what we're there for, right? Now for me, I kind of just wait for my opportunity and I'm able to snap photos here and there. If I want to really get in there and try to capture the whole vehicle and not leave that huge gap between me and the vehicle so that I'm able to take photos a little bit faster, I need something a little bit wider and that's where this comes into play. Now for my first impressions, in that sort of environment, I have a few photos. Let me know what you think of them and I'll just go start playing up here.
there you go. Those are from the most recent caffeine and octane with this conversion lens on. Now this conversion lens is also a 49 millimeter. So I just went ahead and swapped my Polar Pro short stash everyday carry filter from the filter adapter on to the conversion lens. Shooting that in 28, I did look for kind of distortions on the outside. I know once you start going really wide, you do get that and you can definitely tell that with a super wide lens. For me, I didn't notice anything that really stood out. Once this was out using this as an event, it really wasn't anything different other than I could be a little bit closer and allowed me to move my process a little bit quicker. And overall, I think that it worked out very well. Now, the only thing that may be a slight con or a slight issue is you now have to carry this extra lens with you. When I'm carrying my Fujifilm, I carry it in this Wutong Craft medium sized pouch and this works perfectly for it. I can go ahead and just attack my camera strap to this, use it as a standalone bag or throw this into my backpack. Now with the conversion lens on it, I can no longer do that and throw it into that bag. So when I carry this, I have to carry the camera in the pouch and then the lens in the pouch that it came with. I am looking for another way to carry just this. So if you have an idea, let me know in the comments because I would really like something a little bit more protective and just a little bit more snug than what this came in. So that right there would be the issue because when you have these together, you can see it is a lot longer. If it's out on my camera strap or whatever, not a big deal. But when I had this thing packed away, it is now a two-piece item. All right, that's my unboxing and first look at this wide conversion lens for the Fujifilm X106. And this is the WCL X100 II. If you have any questions about the adapter and how it works or anything else related to it, let me know down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video and are looking for future updates, make sure that you give this video a like and follow the channel. When you guys interact, give me follows, give me likes, especially the comments. I love when y'all give me comments so that I can go ahead and interact with all of you. That gives me a better idea if I'm going in the correct direction of this channel. Now, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Again, as I said, if you have any more questions, let me know down in the comment section. Hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you next time.